<laughs> that was long. <laughs> yeah, I, wasn't, I didn't know what to expect with that cadenza. That was a lot longer than I thought. So. <laughs> but good. Uh, a strong ending and a really strong performance all the way throughout. Uh, now, I'm not an oboist. <laughs> you probably know that. Uh, so I'm not going to say anything about oboe playing because it's been years since I had methods class, so I'm not even going to go there. But it seems like, in listening to you, that the technical side of things is where you're sort of most motivated, where you excel. Mm -hmm. And so I think developing to more tonal side of things, the more, maybe more legato playing, that could be a room to develop. Uh, it might be places where you're not quite as interested and you have to motivate yourself to find, um, I don't know, excitement out of music when it's slow. But that, that was my, my gathering from listening to you, that that might be the case. Mm -hmm. um, you've got a good foundation. I would just continue um, working on that. Uh, what did I write down? Yeah, and also be careful because a couple times I caught you being, I didn't have the score, but it seemed like you got ahead a little bit. Like you maybe either skipped something or you just kind of, you thought things were off and you went forward. Be careful because she was not there. So if you keep listening, you'll be able to do a better job of nudging things if it's not if it's falling apart a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good work. I enjoyed it. Thank you.